Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the various elements of grace and the work of salvation, and recently we discussed both actual grace and sanctifying grace. Please watch those episodes if you haven't yet, or you might find some of this a bit confusing. However, you may have heard that the Catholic Church has a few other kinds of grace. However, all of the different kinds of grace that are given to people by God are either actual or sanctifying grace. Let's go through the various types of grace to see why. Number one, efficacious grace. This just refers to a specific kind of actual grace, namely the kind where the person receiving the actual grace acts on that grace to freely do what God wants them to. Number two, gratuitous grace. This is when God gives a certain type of actual grace to a person so that they can then use it to save another person. For instance, enabling someone to speak in tongues might lead someone else to conversion, but it's unlikely to strongly affect the fate of the person speaking in tongues. Number three and number four, habitual grace and justifying grace. These are just other terms which mean the same thing as sanctifying grace. Number five, sacramental grace. Any kind of grace received through sacraments, all of which fall under the categories of sanctifying grace, which are received through baptism, confession, and the anointing of the sick, and actual grace, which is received through all the sacraments. Furthermore, some kinds of actual grace are only received through certain sacraments, such as the vocation to the priesthood, or the office of bishop, or the role of baptism in making a person a child of God. Number six, sanitating grace. No, this type of grace isn't named after sanitizing something, and it's certainly not named after Satan spelled wrong. The term comes from the Latin word sanere, which means heal, and that's the kind of grace this is. It's a form of actual grace which is specifically used for healing a person, though not necessarily from injuries or illnesses. Often, sanitating grace has more to do with helping to heal a person of their vulnerability to sin and temptation by granting them the will to accept God's will or the ability to enjoy doing it. Number seven, sufficient grace. While efficacious grace refers to actual grace that is acted on freely by a person, sufficient grace just means that the grace itself is sufficient to give the person the option of freely doing a good thing that God means for them to do. However, they might or might not actually do that thing. For instance, God might give you the grace to realize that a poor man is about to freeze to death in an alleyway nearby. Since you have two coats on, you might remove one of them and give it to the freezing man, trying to get him to a safer place indoors somewhere. Or you might not, afraid that he might steal your coat. In both cases, the grace that God gave was sufficient to make the charitable action possible, but you still had the chance to freely avoid doing it. Next time, we'll look at the overall work of the salvation of souls to see why it's needed and how grace plays into it. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.